Hello, good afternoon. So today I'm going to take a look at a new game from Playtech. Uh, this time it is called, well the full title is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Video Poker Live. So this is the second Video Poker Live dealer game that's in the marketplace. The first one Evolution released about a year ago. Um, and this is the second version. Um, this one obviously has a who wants to be a millionaire theme and it's obviously by Playtech. There are some differences between the two games which I'll point out as we go through the review. Um, but the best way to do that is to fire up the game and let's get going. Okay, so we've joined a game here in mid-flight, so I'll just uh, let the game complete before um, getting into the description of the game. So, video poker is normally played on RNG machines. Uh, there is originally a land-based game, which has transitioned to the online casino world, and now into the live dealer world. It's normally a very quick game. Um, when you're playing it in RNG, probably every 20 seconds you're hitting a new hand, where this game is obviously a lot slower. So you've sort of got to set your expectation level um, a bit lower um, if you're a regular player of video poker, but it essentially is exactly the same game as you'd play uh, on uh, RNG. Now, Millionaire uh, Video Poker obviously has got the theme of who wants to be a millionaire, and that theme is used in a special bonus round that's been added to this game. Um, it's optional, and it's uh, a paid for bonus round, so you you place a bet uh, to play the bonus round and you qualify for the bonus round by getting one of five different um, poker hands, four card poker hands from the first 10 cards that are dealt um, out of the deck. So you don't actually have to do anything, it's just whether those cards appear in those first 10 hands, uh, sorry, 10 cards. But we'll concentrate more on the uh, game of playing and what options are available than uh, the bonus to begin with. And then uh, if we're lucky, we'll, we'll strike lucky, we'll see the bonus round. If not, I've got a pre-recorded one that I picked up uh, the other day when I was playing the game, um, just trying to find out what was going on. So I'll be able to show you it, but not necessarily live. But uh, that will become quite obvious during this review. I'll also talk about strategies and show you where you can get some information on how to play this game and uh, just generally uh, what I think. So, right, okay, so straight into the game. There are five different versions of the games that you can play and you can see the pay table here. Uh, you've just got to pick one of them. I like normally to play double bonus. Um, I'm going to play five hands at a value of... Well, I wasn't quick enough there. You've got <laughs> 10, 15 seconds to uh, place your bet, so not to worry, we'll come back to that. But there's five different versions, all with different uh, pay tables. Um, and if you re read my review, you'll see which ones are more volatile games and which ones are less risky to play. Um, the RTP of video poker just generally is very high, so it pretty much doesn't matter which version you play. Uh, you're going to get a good return to player percentages. Um, I'll quickly show you those in the uh, help file. I just see this uh, hand play out because there's three aces there, so and a king. So I think we're going to get to see the bonus round here. Now, we, as we're not playing, um, we'll be able to play along, but we won't be able to benefit from any wins. So this is actually a good, good thing. So we've got three aces and a king, which should give us no three aces and a queen. Yep, and a king. Hang on a minute, there's a queen there. We should have had the bonus round. Three aces and a queen gives you the bonus round. They've got that wrong. That should have been a bonus round. Um, I'm absolutely not sure why they've done it. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly place a bet, just so you can see how the game works. So I've picked double, double bonus poker. I've picked um, five hands, so I'm gonna play five hands. The dealer deals five cards out for the first set. You've then got to decide to hold or discard the cards. Now I've got a pair of fives here, so I'm going to just hold those rather than the king and the queen. This is a jacks or better, so you've got to get jacks or better to win at least one X. I'm hoping that we're going to get trips uh, for the, the fives, so that's why I've selected the Fives. And then the second cards, 
to make up my five card hand are then dealt again. And you'll see that I won nothing and then it completes all the virtual hands and again I won nothing. So that wasn't a very good start to actually show you <laughs> what was going on. It's revealing whether we've got any millionaire cards and we haven't. So you've got to get one of these, sorry, down the bottom here, five hands to qualify for the bonus round. You play the bonus round by playing this tick here and the game there. I'm just going to up my bet. So a pound per hand, five hands, I'm going to pay 10 pound. And the bet for the um, bonus round is five times your bet per hand. So again, five pounds. So I've got a total bet of $10. Sorry, I keep paying pounds. I'm playing in dollars. It's dollars. So once again, you can see the pay table here. So we've got aces and threes there. So I'm going to hold all of them, apart from the jack. Hopefully, so we've got two pair. So we've got a payout, but we're obviously hoping for a full house here. So there's only one card from the second set of five that can complete my hands, as you can see up here, which it hasn't done, but I've got the virtual hands. We got some three of a kinds there. In fact, we got three. Ace, Queen, Jack, nine. No bonus round there, but we got a, a win of fifteen dollars. So we're up by five. Okay, just going to replay that hand. There's no auto play on this game. which you probably wouldn't want to be honest because um, if you don't actually act then just all the cards are discarded and you just get five new hand, five new cards although yesterday I did discard five and then got a full house on the second five which was pretty good okay so we're going to be holding kings here because it's jacks or better we can see on the pay table here we've already got one x on the kings And then the virtual hands all contain the, obviously the two cards that I hold, but they'll only get completed with the RNG engine, whereas my first hand gets completed by live cards. And then it shows you in this pay table how many of the hands that you've got. So we've got one, we've got four hands, five, sorry, can't even count now, we've got five hands, all with one X, we've got, uh, 5x back and no bonus round that time so pretty close now the thing with the bonus round is you do not have to worry about holding the right cards it will just take the best four cards out of the ten that have been dealt and actually the bonus rounds come up more frequently than you anticipate the highest payout for the bonus round is 2000x but each bonus round has a number of levels and you've got to complete a level, i.e. get an answer correct in each level to advance to the next level to get the next one and so on. Um, so I'm going to hold the ace and the queen. You don't want to hold more than uh, two high cards in any hand, generally. So I've got three chances to pair with the ace or the queen. And you'll see that didn't work out very well. Although I've got trips there in the second hand and one there. So at least I've got $4 back from my $10 bet. And the millionaire game, we're going to get a millionaire, ace, queen, jack, jack. Nope, that's not in the uh, selection. So each of the, um, I'm going to bet there, I'm just going to show you this. So each of the bonus qualification hands comes with a, a maximum multiplier. So if I just show you, um, 
show you that. So if you, we qualify with an ace, king, queen, jack, we get up to 50x, ace, king, queen, queen, up to 80x, then up to 160, 500, and then the 2000x if you get ace, ace, king, nine as the qualifying hand. And they all have a different number of levels. So the bottom two have three levels. Um, holding those for two reasons. I'm not holding the queen, I'm holding those because they're both spades and they're both above the jack. And that's pretty much all I, all I need to do for this hand. So at least we've paired the king. So we've got one X on my live hand and then we'll see what we get in the RNG. Oh, we've got a 6x. What do we get there? Flush there. Yep, so that was quite good. And will we get the ace, king, king, queen? You see, you'd see, you'd think you'd get something for that because it's a really strong four card hand, but no, they've just picked four hands. I don't know whether they picked those randomly. They must have picked those randomly. I can't see that any one is better than any other. They've all got the same chance of uh, being drawn. Um, although ace, king, queen, jack is obviously going to get, there's a higher odds of that being drawn than there are of three aces and a queen, for example. Um, right, okay, so I'm playing double, double bonus poker because that's the one I like. It's a bit more volatile. Um, it's because uh, when you get um, four of a kind with kickers, then uh, that's when the big payouts occur. Right, so the difference uh, that between um, Playtech, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Video Poker Live, and Evolution Video Poker Live is that with the Playtech version, they deal both the first five and ten cards from real the real cards, whereas in the Evolution version, only the first five cards get dealt as live cards. All the rest is then RNG. So that's one of the major differences. The other difference, well, there's another two differences. Um, the ace, queen, queen, jack, nope. Um, the other two differences are in Juice's Wild, a natural royal flush pays 800x on the Evolution version, and it pays 1000x on this Playtech version. And the third difference is uh, the bonus round. The Evolution game doesn't have a bonus round, and this one does. Uh, I did get my bet down, yeah. So I'm going to go into the help in a sec, just once we've uh, dealt this, uh, ace and kings. You can also see if there are other people playing, there's five people playing, who else is, uh, how many percent of people have uh, held those cards. So you can see that you're following a strategy. I'm following the strategy. I'll show you where you can find the strategy, either in this game or uh, you can find it on my website, on the web page. Just click the link in the video description. God, would you believe it? Absolutely nothing there. So the like virtual gives us something. We've got one X there, nothing, and nothing, one X there. And there's not gonna be a millionaire game. Right, place the bet and then we'll get into the, uh, the help file because I want to show you some stuff. Right, so in the help file we have got, let's have a look at the RTP. So RTP, again, jacks or better, 99.54%, pretty high. 98.92 for Juices Wild, 98.98 for Double Double Bonus. Uh, millionaire Ace is 99.25, which is Playtech's own version. Uh, they created that especially for this game. And then bonus poker is 99.17. Let's go back to the game quickly. Well, when I say quickly, there's obviously going to be a dealer change or something's going on. Miss that. Yeah, it looks like a different set of hands there. They look like female hands as opposed to male. Oh, we've got four to a flush there, so we're going to hold the four to a flush. So 
So you'd hope in one of our hands we're going to get at least one flush. We'd hope in the main hand to get a flush, that would be brilliant. Now a diamond. A diamond would be good. Oh, they're all black cards. Oh, there's a diamond. That's no bloody good. And a diamond there, that's no good. Right, so any virtual flushes? Come on. Yes, we've got one. Two. So we've got 12x there, which was pretty good. Okay, back to the... Oh, I'll just place the bet. And we're not going to get any uh, millionaire. Just need another ace there. and We would have had the top one. Right, so quickly back to the help file. So, um, yeah, let me just show you. So in here, they have got a the default strategy for each of the game. So these are rec recommendations. So um, for jacks or better, always hold a flush or better. Well, that's obvious. And then hold in descending order, any pair or higher, four cards to a flush, four cards to a straight, in sequential order, so not, um, so have to be open-ended straights, jacks or better, and so on for each of the games. Let's go back, because we're just um, 9, 8, 7, 6. So that's a good example of an open-end straight. So we either need a 5 or a 10 for the straight. A 5, 5, 5. Oh, queen. Okay, so we didn't get a straight there, but we might in the virtual hands. No, nothing. So we've got nothing there, which is unusual because you normally do get a straight. A straight would have paid. What would it have paid? We're not obviously going to get uh, any payout there. The thing with video poker is I can play it for hours. <laughs> I really, really love the game. Let's go back to the uh, help file and have a quick look at those. Um, Strategies again. So look, there's a strategy for each of the games here. So write them down, use what's on my website. I've sort of replicated that in the review so you can have a look and uh, and see. Um, again, uh, the payouts of the game are pretty good for video poker, 800x. I mean, you're generally gonna be getting between 9x and um, 1x most of the time. Getting four of a kind is quite a rare occurrence. So here we are, we've got a couple of queens here, so we're gonna hold those. Clicking on the thing just brings up the play table there. Oh, look, we've got Aces, and Queens, and Kings. We must qualify for a bloody millionaire bet. Three, four, five. So we got seven X there. There must be, must, must get something, surely. Ace, Ace, King, Queen. No. Ace, Ace, King, Queen. Nothing. So when I said they occur, not infrequently, I'm pretty much lied. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> well, as this is showing you, unfortunately, you don't get any detail, and there's no stats available of past hands, what's won, all that sort of stuff. So none of that information is available. Um, yeah, the pay table. So I was just showing you, 800x is the highest on Jacks or better, 1000x on Juices Wild. Juices Wild, all the twos are wild, so they're wild cards. So this would be a really good hand to have uh, the juices as wilds because you would just hold those two. And then anything you got, you'd have a, at least a minimum of trips. But we can see on juices wild, even for trips, it's 1x. So the pay table is reduced for... Um, so you would have had four nines, so you would have had four of a kind, four X that would have paid if that was juices wild, which is not. So juices wild is a better game if you want to just turn over your bankroll more because um, of those juices, you know, there's more opportunities to win. So the lower valued hands get paid out, the, the multipliers are less, 
payouts are less, um, but you get them more often. So that's the trade-off. Um, and you can occasionally get a really big win on Juices Wild. So um, it's quite a good option to play if you if you're struggling with your bankroll a bit. I'd say you know pick that rather than double double bonus or jacks or better. Juice as wild it sort of sits nicely between all the games. It's got a, it's got a nice level of volatility. So we've got four to a flush again. So we'll just hold those. You wouldn't necessarily hold three to a flush. Check the strategy, you'll see. But certainly four to a flush, you would. Now, as video poker goes, I really like this version just because if you want to play one hand, it's completely live. You know, you're going to get a live experience completely. Whereas in the Evolution game, you don't. There is a mix of RNG right the way throughout the game. This only has it from hands to and above RNG. I'm going to play two more hands, and if we don't get the bonus round, then I'm going to splice in the bonus round um, that I've pre-recorded, and then I can explain how that is played. So it's pretty straightforward. You select the number of hands, and you can play up to 100. Um, how much you want to bet per hand. So again, you can go as low as 10 cents and as high as you want. I don't want to keep clicking that because I might get a stupid amount. Gonna hold the fives. So you can sort of, you know, play around and see what you like. It is obviously a slower game than the RNG version, but you know, I quite like this. It's, it's, it's not fast, it's not slow, slow. What have we got there? Seven, eight, queen. Oh, we've got one, three of a kind. Two, three of a kind, so we've got six X. So in terms of return, we're not doing too well here. We're not returning We're not breaking even, we're losing at the moment. One more game, can't resist it. And then I'll uh, splice in the, the bonus round. So as games go, I really like this version, I have to say. Um, as I was saying, it's all live for one hand, which is brilliant. Um, the bonus round, I can sort of take it or leave it, to be perfectly honest with you. It's um, If you're playing to turn your bankroll over, if you're playing to hopefully walk away the game with a profit, then don't play it. It has an RTP of 96%, so that's pretty low as live games go. And as you can see, if you're not getting them, it can take a chunk of your uh, money. Um, don't play it. You can play along, so that at least they've given you that facility to rather than just watching, you can play along to see whether you get the answers right or not. So I like that. And that's the first bonus round that I'm aware of in live that you've been able to do that. So it sort of keeps you invested in the game. It might encourage less people to play the bonus round. I think that's probably the only downside, but that's no bad thing, I think, because bonus rounds are, or side bets as this really is, is um, something the house love because the RTP is in their favor more and they make more money from it. You know, they make a lot of men money from the side bets. Yeah, sure, you can get the odd good win, but thousands of people are losing all the time. So even the really big wins, you know, don't make a dent in the amount of money that they make on these side bets. So. Uh, so it's a good revenue thing. So I would stick to basic video poker, given that it's a 99% plus game. If you play it wisely, you can play for an awful long time. You can also win, and it takes you a long time to lose. Now I'm gonna hold the King Queen, sorry, the King Jack 10 of diamonds, because we've got this, the ability for a straight flush and we've got the ability for a royal flush. Now it's only three to either of those, but, and we've obviously got the flush opportunity, which we've not got, and we've not got there, and we've not got there. So 
I didn't get anything there, so we're hoping for the RNG to either give us a flush or just to pair up something, king or jack. And we've got nothing there. But with my mind with video poker, you've got to be in it to win it. So if you're not holding these hands, even though the strategy would say don't bother, you've got to. Because I've seen people all the time, king, queen, jack, ten, still nothing. I've seen people you know, hit the royals when they've just held three cards. So you can't necessarily always go by, um, by the strategy. But just be mindful that you know, perhaps it's not, not the best bet. Okay, right, I am going to splice in the bonus round so I can talk about that separately and you can see it. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, cut out at the end of this hand. And then we'll splice in the, the bonus round. Two pair we got, and the ten would be last night. Right, so we didn't do too well there, and we're not going to get the um, ace, jack, king. No, we're not going to get a millionaire round. So uh, I'll depart. I'm going to splice in the uh, bonus round now. So see you in a sec. Okay, so going to carry on. Uh, you'll notice that the deal has changed, and that's uh, obviously <laughs> because I'm just splicing in a bonus round. So the bonus round, which is just about to come up, obviously is triggered by the uh, five hands that I mentioned before. Now, depending on which hand is uh, dealt will depend on what the maximum multiplier for that bonus round is and how many levels there are. So, um, and the purpose of, if you played Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, you get asked four questions. In this case, there'll be just four multipliers, and you've just got to decide which which of the answers A, B, C, or D will be picked, and you'll then win the multi multiplier for the one that you picked. Right, so we got a 6x there for... Um, that for us, flush, isn't it? So, um, right, and the millionaire combination we've got an ace, king, queen, queen, which is giving us a maximum payout of 80x. Now, to get that, you have to get each of the levels correct and to get the top payout for each level. So, you'll see this um, in the game. There are also lifelines there's 50 50, ask the audience and ask the host. So, you can see here we've got. Um, Four answers, A, B, C, D. The top answer is 10x, and we've just got to pick one of these um, to guess which ones are going to be the 10, so I'm going for B. If I didn't pick it, pick for you. This game round's got three levels, so I picked B, I won 2x, and obviously A was the correct answer for the 10x. So we're into round two. Top answer here is 20x. This time I'm going to go for C, hoping it's 20x. And if it is, then that gets added to my total. So that would be 22x that I end up with. So it's a complete guessing game, this. Oh, look, there you go. So I've got the 20x, so happy days. Um, so it's purely luck. Um, and in the rounds where there are higher payouts, then you get X's in some of the answers. And if you happen to pick an X, then you're out. Um, and this is one of the bonus, um, the lifelines of 50-50. So it took away two of the lowest answers. So I've got a choice between A or D. I've gone for A, hoping for a 50X multiplier. And I've got it. So I've got a 72x payout for a maximum of 80x. So I've done pretty well there. And that 
basically is how the uh, game works. If you had the Ask the Audience, then it would give you a bar chart of what it thought the uh, best answer was. And for Ask the Host, again, he removes the lowest uh, multipliers and then you just get a limited number to do it. If there are um, more levels than three, then you get X's in some of the answers. And if you pick an X, then your game is over and you just get the multiplier up to that point that you've accrued. Okay, so that is Millionaire Video Poker from Playtech. It's available at all Playtech casinos. I hope you enjoyed that review. It was a little bit long. I'm sorry, but I sort of get carried away when I'm playing this. Now, if you like the video, give us a like. I'd like to understand uh, what you think of the game, so please drop some uh, comments in the uh, comments under the video. If you want a list of casinos where you can play this, then uh, check out the review in the description. There's a list of casinos uh, in the review. Uh, some with uh, bonuses which are pretty good that you may be able to use on live dealer games. So, uh, until my next video, I hope you uh, have a good, well, I'm just, it's Friday today, so have a good weekend. Um, if it's another day of the week, then have a good day. If you're gambling, uh, be lucky. Um, know when to take a break. Don't chase your losses. And for, above all, just have fun. So, until the next video, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.